In this lesson, we're going to talk about the basic structure of the SELECT statement. So keep in mind that the SELECT statement really consists of two parts. There's the part that we use to select columns, and then there's the part that we use to say which table we want to select the columns from. So here I have a simple SELECT statement that's going to select the last name from the person table, which is in the person schema. So let me just open up my database here for you and I can show you what this would look like. So as you can see here, I have all sorts of different schemas and here's the person schema and here's the person table. So what we're gonna do in this select statement here is pick the last name from this table. Now when I run it, you'll see I get an error. And this is actually a good error to get because what it's showing me is is that I have an invalid object name which seems strange because it does say person here and I'm in the person table everything seems to line up but the key thing that's different is I'm in the wrong database see here it says master this really needs to be switched to the AdventureWorks database this is one of those mistakes that's really easy to make so let me select it now when I run it I'll get the results that we would expect and you'll see here, let me bring this up so we can see it a little easier here. You'll see that I'm pulling in all of the um, last names for our people in the person table. So much like I can select one column, I can select two. So if I type in first name here, I can now select the first name and last name from the person table. If you see down here in our table, I have first name and last name. And when I select multiple columns, I put a comma in between them. So now when I run this, you'll see now I get the first name and the last name. A couple of things also I want to point out is that the system isn't uh, case sensitive. So if you were to type in your columns, like first name and last name, this will work. It brings back the same. And for the tables, I could type person and person, and it will work. What a lot of people do is they always uh, capitalize the keywords like select and from. In addition, as if statements get more complicated, people will indent them and make sure that the stuff is lined up so that the columns and tables are lined up and you can see where I indented the from. So this is a typical um, convention. Also, it's a good habit to put a semicolon at the end of your statement. This is, uh, denotes that uh, the statement is complete. But as you've seen in my examples, I haven't used it uh, in all cases. And the system will recognize that you don't have a semicolon. And then this lastly, another common mistake, and I, I may make this a couple of times when I'm pointing things out, is, is that if you have something highlighted, like the select clause here in the statement, and I hit execute, you'll see that it, it bombs out, saying it has invalid column names, and that's because it's trying to run only what I highlighted. It's not trying to run the from part so if I was to highlight the entire area of this statement and then hit execute, it would work. So a lot of times you'll see me like pointing out something like this and then hit execute and it'll crash and it's like, well, what happened? And it's just that I, I told it to execute a certain part of the statement and of course it doesn't like just pieces, it wants to see the whole statement. So this is really uh, the end of the introduction. It's more just to show you how the basic select statement works and as we move forward, we will look at some of the more um, comprehensive examples.